guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Crown Euro Cars in Pinellas Park, Florida, because guess what? We have one hot luxury sports sedan. This is a 2020 Mercedes AMG CLS 53. But before we dive into this, let's talk about the CLS class, that midsize luxury class of sedan. What's great is, is when you hear those letters AMG, you know that there's extra performance and extra styling. And when we say performance, it's not just what's underneath the hood, but also all four corners because you're going to have increased braking, suspension, and wheel and tire setup. So let's go ahead, dive into this AMG CLS 53 and see if it is that midsize luxury sedan, performance sedan standout. Right off the bat, black on a Mercedes is one of those perfect colors. There's two colors that I feel fit a Mercedes to a T, black and definitely silver. But with this black one, nice sinister look. Love the full LED headlight design going on. Of course, they're adaptive, so that means they're gonna move with the turning of the steering wheel. LED daytime running lamp, a little bit of silver trim in there. But the nice thing is, is look at this, you drop down, functional side air curtain. They didn't try to make this look like a fake vent. I love the massive extensions of these two horizontal slots here. A Little bit of gloss black on the horizontal pieces, plus the way it kind of wraps around the actual air curtain, but very, very attractive and definitely something you can see that the AMG designers did a little bit of extra tweaking. Now, when we come across that iconic grill shape with that logo, that massive Mercedes-Benz star there, love this brushed aluminum. I really think it fits the look with the black. Perfect. Of course, you're going to have an AMG badge. When you see that badge in a car, unless somebody stuck it in on there themselves, when it comes from the factory, it's bringing that extra performance. So many decades of race wins, race championships, including the coveted 24 Hours of Le Mans. You drop down, you got your flat black uh, lower grill portion, and then I really love this black lip extension that comes out just enough to let you know that, hey, this is something different. Now, before we go up onto the hood, one thing I love about the hood is how it kind of waterfalls nice and sharp towards the front fascia. As we get up onto the hood, nice, clean body line. So you have a light body line in the center here. As you go towards the middle of the hood, it disappears. And then we have our two prominent bulges. That, that's something that, if you look at Mercedes-Benz over the years, that's a, that's a body element, a design element, that actually trickles all the way back to their Grand Prix racing days in the 50s and 60s. Now, when they come around, when we come around the bend here, you can see how that air curtain is functional, and I really like the way they add that extra design element to it. Wheel and tire setup on this particular AMG car is gonna be this beautiful, it's machined aluminum, gloss black. Now, if you're wondering what is the size of this wheel, you're looking at a 19 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 40 series sidewall. You're gonna get your massive AMG branded four piston calipers. The rotors, of course, are gonna be cross drilled and ventilated. That's gonna help give us better braking cap capability. And of course you have adaptive suspension. So what that means is that under, uh, under the four corners of this car, the suspension can be adjusted depending on what the road conditions are. That's gonna give you the performance handling wise that you come to expect from AMG. Now, as we go into the fender treatment, a little bit of a badge here, nothing wrong with saying, hey, you got some turbo power. So you got a turbo badge with the Formatic logo. Remember, Formatic is Mercedes-Benz talk for their all wheel drive system. That's gonna get the power down to all four corners of this AMG CLS 53. I love the low roof line and the way it kind of slopes back. A little bit of chrome on the door handles, and then that side sill extension comes out just enough to give it that presence that you expect from a vehicle like this. Now, when we get to the back, nice rounded belt line coming towards the rear fender, that rear glass nice and slanted. The one thing I'm missing, and I'm kind of bummed out, and I am going to zonk it, is where's my trunk lid spoiler? Just a nice little gloss black kick up would have just been the cherry on top of this Sunday, but we drop down, you do, are gonna have full LED taillights, of course, your CLS 53 badge, AMG, uh, AMG ba badging, love the quad tip exhaust. Perfect black tip, especially the way they're surrounded. They're encompassed by 
that rear diffuser area that's all flat black. And that's a pretty aggressive rear diffuser for a car like this. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this CLS 53. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Underneath that hood is a massive engine cover. It is tasteful though. It's large, but it is tasteful. I love the Mercedes-Benz badge, the AMG badging. What's underneath all that plastic, you're probably wondering? That's a three liter inline six turbocharged engine with Mercedes-Benz patented EQ boost. You're looking at 429 horsepower, 384 pound-feet of torque. It's all being routed through a nine-speed transmission, automatic transmission that Mercedes uses the term speed shift, TCT transmission. Zero to 60 in about 4.3 seconds. Top speed regulated to about 155 miles an hour. This car is no lightweight, weighs in at 4,447 pounds. MPGs, 21 in the city, 27 on the highway. And like I was telling you, you have a combination of adaptive dampers plus air suspension, which is gonna give you that ultimate ride quality that you come to expect from Mercedes. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this CLS 53 and see if it makes any noise. Alright guys, we're inside the 2020 AMG CLS 53. I know you're probably wondering, Joe, this Mercedes-Benz is sexy. It's got some power. How much is the price? Now the way that this one is optioned, this particular one, you're looking at an MSRP right around $94,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, they're gorgeous, as they should be for this price point. You are getting that beautiful carbon fiber, Love the red contrast stitching. Leather just poured everywhere. And the silver trim with the buttons for the seats and whatnot. And the optional sound system there with the aluminum colors. Very, very tasteful. Heated seats, ventilated seats. And you have a felt line cubby down there. So you're not going to scratch your German chocolate Twinkies. But a, a very sexy door panel. It doesn't stop though. You get to the dash. Love the dash material, the leather everywhere, the stitch work. They just pour, just poured a stream of carbon fiber across here. You get to the main infotainment area. What do we have? We have a over 12 inch infotainment system screen. Now is this touch screen? No, it is not touch screen. You're gonna have to use the other controls, which I'll show you in a second. But I love the aeronautical style AC vents. You got your start stop button all the way over here. You do have your AC controls if you want to use switches and you don't want to touch anything else. AC right here. Of course, you got to have a classy analog Mercedes-Benz clock. We could go into our different features real simple here. So you hit the car and that's going to give us our CLS 53 and then you use the rotary knob to go through the different settings. So track pace, definitely want to select that. Warning, use this only on racetracks. Okay, thank you for warning us but at least we have that. They're gonna update the whole system and then give us a plethora of different things that we could adjust, which is great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit media. That shows you your media devices. I could hit navigation. Look how large that is. That's what she said. But the navigation system, super clear, easy to see. I love the way they have the hood. That's gonna help keep glare off of that screen. But we keep dropping down. And what do we have? We have some nice gloss black. It's gonna be interesting on a sunny day how much this gloss black reflects the sun in your eyes. Obviously, you can see the fingerprints and smudge marks, but we open up door number one. You have two cup holders, wireless charging, a USB, and a place to put some breath mints. You close that up. Here's our plethora of different knobs. You got your adaptive exhaust. We could go into our different dynamic modes. So you have your Sport, Sport Plus, that's gonna adjust all the parameters of how the engine, transmission, suspension, let me go back. You go back to sport, you have comfort, and then you could individually set everything up by itself, even slippery. Slippery when wet, man. Bon Jovi worked with Mercedes to make sure that that mode was perfect. Here's another way you could do it. So you could use the directory knob, you could use the different switches, or you could use this, this is a mouse pad to actually go through your different features. 
Let me throw it in reverse for you and show you the backup cameras that we have in this CLS 53. So there we are, you do get 360, obviously the doors are open. Out back, you can see that beautiful trajectory, which is really, really nice. And then you have uh, a plethora of other cameras that you could actually scroll through out the front. You could do out the front panoramic, real easy to use. And that's the thing is the more time you spend in this Mercedes, the more you're gonna be able to figure it out. It's, it's actually quite simple. But there's that mouse pad. You do have the leather, the stitch work, bombs away. What do we have? We have somebody's trash in here. So let me get this trash out of here. You're gonna have felt lining for your uh, family's china so it doesn't get scratched. Two USBs, we'll close this up. Seats right out of a race car. So you have your AMG badge, love the Alcantara. The stitch work is great, heated and ventilated. A little bit of bolstering, just enough to let you know you're in something performance-wise. Key fob, there's your Mercedes-Benz key fob. It's super slim. Look how slim that is. The back has is just nice gloss black, and it slides in your pocket very nicely. And then up top, we have a standard size sunroof, which is really nice. But I'm telling you, the seats up top have a great amount of bolstering. Down below, there's really not much, so don't worry about that and plenty of headroom in here. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom, but why don't you come over here because there's a piece of race car heaven I want to show you as I wrap my hands around it. All right, guys, here we are behind the wheel. You got your beautiful AMG sill badging that lights up LED very, very nicely at night. You're going to have your brushed aluminum pedals down there, brake pedal and throttle. They should give you a brushed aluminum dead pedal. That would be really nice or at least something so you don't wear the carpet out. Because I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna throw this through a favorite set of twisties that you have. Now, the, one of the biggest options for this car is the steering wheel. Is it worth it? Yes, I love it. The shape of it's great. I love it, the way you have the red top dead center here. You have the beautiful red contrast stitching, flat bottom, and then what I think is so awesome with these steering wheels is you could actually, all those adjustments that I showed you on the uh, dash, excuse me, on the center console, you could actually do right here from the steering wheel. So I'm in sport plus mode. You can shut your traction control off. You got two massive paddles behind the steering wheel to go up and down that transmission. I like the silver. And then you have another 12 over 12 inches. So over 24 inches of visual display in your AMG CLS 53. Of course, you have your tack you have your speedometer, and then you could toggle through a ton of information there in the center as we go through the different modes. You could uh, you know, bring up your radio controls, all that nicely done. And you're gonna have, of course, all the safety features that Mercedes-Benz is famous for. I don't need to list those because you would think at this price point, they better have lane keep assist and they better have emergency braking. But why don't we check out the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be comfy as you're carving up those corners on your favorite road. All right, guys, back seat time. You know, for your legs, there's plenty of room. For your head, it's getting a little tight. Because of that nice, sexy, low sloping roof, they notched out some space in here, but I'm six feet tall. If I was a little bit taller, my head would be making contact with the headliner. What I do love, though, is that stitch work all the way around. You have pockets where you could put your German Twizzlers. Maybe you got one of those nice, large, soft pretzels with extra salt. You could put them in there. You got two AC vents and they mimic the AC vents up front. Drop that down, look at this. You got all your connectivity, your 12 volt, your home power source, your USB, close it up. Like I said, leg room is great. Head room is a little tight. You do have Alcantara in that beautiful stitching and the leather is soft as can be. Armrest, we pull it down. The lid's a little hard, but it's hard for a reason. You open this up you have more felt lining. So here's where you could put all of your M&Ms and the M's won't rub off because you have that nice felt lining in here. And then you also have one, two, two cup holders that actually can expand in size, which is nice, especially if you're going for the full 64 uh, fluid ounces of soda that you're gonna, gonna try to drink back here. But we close that up, put it back. Let's go ahead and check out that trunk and see how usable the CLS 53 really is. All right, guys, time to get into the trunk. How do you do it? It's real simple. You actually use that Mercedes-Benz logo. Pops up nicely. Nice, wide opening. It's a little narrow as you get closer to the end of the car, but at the top, it's nice and wide. Those seats are going to fold down. 
11.9 cubic feet of space, so almost 12 cubic feet of space. What I do like is the way they have the handles here so that you could actually go and slide those seats down. And then what do we have underneath? No spare, you have a lot of storage. So if you're into snacks and you're into hiding them, you could fill it up back here big time. You could actually put like a German birthday cake back here, like a German dark, dark, for, uh, dark forest chocolate cake. Just drop it right back there really nicely. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part as that trunk closes. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this CLS 53 for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Mercedes AMG CLS 53. We left Crown Euro cars right away. The interior just, it's mind blowing. You have great room up here and the carbon fiber and the leather and this steering wheel is just, like I said, it's, it's a piece of heaven. It's a piece of race car heaven. What I'm not digging, and I am gonna zon, because the seat bottoms are a little small, to be honest with you, and I don't have a big butt, but it would be nice if the seat bottom was just a little bit wider and a little bit longer, to be honest with you. The top portion, the back portion of the seat is spot on the money. The bolstering is nice, it fits, exactly the way as it should on the different parts of your back, lower back, middle back, and upper back. Visibility out the windshield is spot on the money because the A-pillars are like pretzel sticks. That's how thin they are. And even though that back glass is super slanted, it actually is super clear, which is great. Side mirrors work awesome. And there's just something about the way that Mercedes-Benz does their digital displays that with the TFT I mean it is gorgeous and with the large gauge hood I'm not really expecting a lot of glare to mess up your beautiful uh your beautiful view at these screens all right guys I right, have it in sport plus mode I'm just gonna leave it in automatic for right now but on throttle drops down the formatic getting the power to all four wheels super smooth Great feedback coming from the, the front wheels to the steering wheel and holds a line very, very, very well. But I'm telling you, this steering wheel is probably one of my favorite things about this car. It, it really just makes the drive of this car that much more engaging, as crazy as that sounds. But pulling out here on throttle, here we go. All wheel drive, getting us down. Love the sound. And every time there's a shift, there's a nice pop coming from the exhaust. On the brakes, this doesn't have the carbon ceramics or anything like that, but you're still getting great cap uh, braking capability. A little bit of slide, just a square off the corner. And you're back and running, look at this. On the brakes, into this right-hand bend. Very nice, very, very nice. Super controllable holds the line well i wish there was just a little bit less body roll just a little bit less and i'm noticing a little bit of flex from the sidewall of these particular tires i would like a tire that has a, a not a smaller side roll uh side roll a uh, sidewall but one that is actually a little bit stronger um and they you know depending on the brand you could adjust the uh the strength of that sidewall because it's a balance. It's a, it's a slippery slope because do you want comfort or do you want handling performance? It's hard to find that perfect balance. Usually you go one way or the other. And these tires are a little bit more geared for the comfort part, which makes sense. But on throttle, power goes right to the ground. Definitely zero to 64.3 seconds is 100% on the money. Oh, look at this, really, really nice. Holds a line very well super smooth good feedback coming from the pedal and like i said these aren't six piston brembos and they're definitely not carbon ceramic brakes like you can get maybe on a gt uh c63s or something like that but back on throttle sport plus mode is fun it really really is on the brakes turn it is crisp Little bit of squaring up in the corner, so you are getting a little bit of slide just to square the corner off. Back on the brakes. 
very nice. Look at this. Really, really enjoy the overall feel behind the wheel of this CLS 53. And definitely visibility out over the hood is great. You have those two power bulges, which is perfect um, to give you a nice little reference point because it kind of slopes away from those bulges so if you're looking for peaks on the fender there really isn't any so you got to run off of what's on the center of the hood and it works out just fine driving along the cabin is very quiet as to be expected and everywhere you're looking and touching the finishes are really great it's just those passengers in the back seat if they are on the taller side are going to feel a little cramped in the headroom area legroom area is just fine um, but the headroom area, it's a little bit cramped back there, but pulling out at all with a Fordmatic works great. And the shifts are very, very firm, very purposeful in that Sport Plus mode. You put it into comfort, that's going to adjust everything, especially the suspension as well. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what this AMG CLS 53 is all about. We're going to head back to Crown Eurocars and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Crown Euro Cars. Definitely got to thank Nicole and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2020 AMG CLS 53. Is it the standout mid-size luxury performance sedan that you want to add to your garage? I think it's pretty close and you're definitely going to want to get behind the wheel of one of these and compare it to its German rivals. But if it's cars like these, and I know it's probably true that you want to see on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you are new, that's you, and on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get it out to Big Guns McGee. He's been working the camera one-handed this whole time. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work, especially working out. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.